When we talk about energy, we tend to think big, big power plants, nuclear energy, oil rigs. We tend to think about energy on a geopolitical scale. But an energy resource can start small, as Al Jazeera's Melissa Chan reports, as part of our series, The U.S. Power Surge. It started as just a flash of an idea. What happens if you let people rather than companies take power into their own hands? Power, that is electricity, needed for everything and every day. It doesn't look like the most elegant solution, and the technology is not new. But the gasifier may be one answer to the global energy problem. Access to affordable, renewable energy is a massive crisis and a massive opportunity. If the developing world doesn't find an alternative to carbon-based fuel sources, we're going to cook the planet. So the, other thing is that the idea is to hand power to the people. You learn to build it and run it. And these visitors here came from around the world. So to power this up, you need biomass. And biomass is something as simple as wood chips and corn cobs or as exotic as palm nut shells. But we're going to use walnut shells. It takes about 30 minutes to put the power pallet together. It can fit in your backyard, run two or three households in the U.S., or support an entire village of 40 families in Indonesia. At $19,000, it's not cheap, but daily use more than makes up for the cost after a few years. A man, a machine, and moments later, a flip of the switch. Most clean energy development looks at large-scale solutions, harnessing the power of the wind or sun, the top-down approach. Few have considered the bottom-up solution, but from a warehouse in California, there is the potential to go global. The site in Malawi where we're going to be installing this machine is uh, it's in a wilderness area, a national park. It's really in the middle of nowhere. Finally, also, Italy has realized that they have to run with the rest of the world with the renewable energies. Witness the place where industrial meets innovation. The team here comes from diverse backgrounds. This space attracted a really interesting group of people. So there were MIT scientists, Stanford PhD physicists, there were junkyard fabricators, there were artists, there were engineers. And despite the success of the business, the power pallet is still manufactured and built by hand in the United States for export and impact all around the world. Melissa Chan, Al Jazeera, Berkeley, California.